As we conclude our nine days of prayer, seeking the assistance of Our Lady of Guadalupe, let us ask the Lord of Miracles to bring an end to the culture of death and to spread a culture of life in the Americas. That will take a conversion of the Americas. The image of Our Lady of Guadalupe is still leading pilgrims to Jesus Christ and into the church. It is also a miracle. In a 2001 Zenit News article entitled, Science Stunned by Virgin of Guadalupe's Eyes, we read that digital technology is giving new leads in understanding a phenomenon that continues to puzzle science, the mysterious eyes of the image of the Virgin of Guadalupe, the image imprinted on the tilma of a 16th century peasant, led millions of indigenous Indians in Mexico to convert to the Catholic faith. Results of scientific research into the famed image were discussed by an engineer at the Mexican Center of Guadalupe Studies. He told us that through the dimensions, which are microscopic, the iris and the pupils of the image's eyes have imprinted on them a highly detailed picture of at least 13 people. These same people are present in both the left and the right eyes in different proportions, as would happen when human eyes reflect the objects before them. He said that he believes the reflection transmitted by the eyes of the Virgin of Guadalupe is the very scene of December 9, 1531, when Juan Diego showed his tilma with the image to the bishop and others who were present in the room. And in his research, this scientist used a digital process used by satellites and space probes. He insists that the image has not been painted by human hand. The fibers used by the Indians deteriorated after 20 years. Yet the image and the fabric it is imprinted on have lasted almost 500 years. He pointed out that a Nobel Prize winner in chemistry found that the image did not have natural, animal, or mineral colorings. Given that there were no synthetic colorings in 1531, the image is inexplicable, he said. In a word, the Virgin's eyes bear a kind of instant picture of what occurred at the moment the image was unveiled in front of the bishop. And in the center of the pupils, on a much more reduced scale, another scene can be perceived, independent of the first. An Indian family made up of a woman, a man, and several children. In the right eye, other people who are standing appear behind the woman. The scientist ventured to express why he believes the Virgin's eyes have a hidden message for modern times, when technology is able to discover it. And I quote, this could be the case of the picture of the family in the center of the Virgin's eye, at a time when the family is under serious attack in our modern world. Our Lady of Guadalupe, star of the new evangelization, pray for us. Beloved Father, through the life, death, and resurrection of your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, we have become your adopted sons and daughters. Through baptism, we are now members of his body, the church, which is your family. Before your Son and our Savior gave up the last drop of his sacred blood and breathed his last breath to set us free from sin and death, he turned to his beloved mother at the foot of the cross, pointed to John, and said, Woman, Behold your son. Then he said to that disciple whom he loved with such a special affection, Behold your mother. The mother of Jesus is the mother of his church, and she is our mother. And so, dear Father, in the name of Jesus and under the maternal care of Mary, his mother, under her title of Our Lady of Guadalupe, we now ask for the end of the culture of death. We ask for the spread of a new culture of life in the Americas. We pray for the new evangelization of the church and for the conversion of the Americas to Jesus Christ and his church. And here, I present my own personal intention. Finally, as the family of God, we make our own the prayer to Our Lady of Guadalupe, which was prayed by St. John Paul II at the Basilica dedicated to her in Mexico City. O Immaculate Virgin, Mother of the True God and Mother of the Church, 
who from this place reveal your clemency and your pity to all those who ask for your protection. Hear the prayer that we address to you with filial trust and present it to your son Jesus, our sole redeemer. Mother of mercy, teacher of hidden and silent sacrifice, to you who come to meet us sinners, we dedicate on this day all our being and all our love. We also dedicate to you our life, our work, our joys, our infirmities and our sorrows. Grant peace, justice and prosperity to our peoples, for we entrust to your care all that we have and all that we are, Our Lady and Mother. We wish to be entirely yours and to walk with you along the way of complete faithfulness to Jesus Christ and his church. Hold us always with your loving hand. Virgin of Guadalupe, Mother of the Americas, we pray to you for all the bishops, that they may lead the faithful along paths of intense Christian life of love and humble service of God and souls. Contemplate this immense harvest and intercede with the Lord that he may instill a hunger for holiness in the whole people of God and grant abundant vocations of priests and religious, strong in the faith and zealous dispensers of God's mysteries. Grant to our homes the grace of loving and respecting life in its beginnings with the same love with which you conceived in your womb the life of the Son of God. Blessed Virgin Mary, protect our families so that they may always be united and bless the upbringing of our children. Our hope, look upon us with compassion. Teach us to go continually to Jesus, and if we fall, help us to rise again, to return to him by means of the confession of our faults and sins in the sacrament of penance, which gives peace to the soul. We beg you to grant a great love to us for all the holy sacraments, which are, as it were, the signs that your Son left us on earth. Most Holy Mother, with the peace of God in our conscience, with our hearts free from evil and hatred, we will be able to bring to all true joy and true peace, which come to us from your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who with God the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And now, may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen.